Hello everybody. Welcome to my craft room. This is Susie. Yes, I've been gone a long, long time, but I'm finally back. Um, I probably won't be able to do very long videos and I'll kind of get into more of that as we progress along. Um, I just can't sit for very long. And so I'm, I'm looking at ways to make shorter videos, but still, um, you know, do the whole project. So anyway, first thing I want to talk about it today is that um, I received the coolest type journal. Um, my girl, uh, Jacqueline, over at um, Lovely's Crafting Lodge made this for me. And this is for our uh, Meg's, Meg Journal's uh, Junk Journal July. And so we are gonna participate in that and there's prompts every day. And when you go to uh, to Meg's channel and then you click on her link to, you know, for the stuff, she's done a really, really great job in, uh, oh goodness, upside down, and kind of explaining. These are just some journal prompts and they're actually pretty, pretty neat to think about. But here's the prompts and you can use them in order, you can use them out of order, you don't even have to use them, um, but this is what the prompts are. And so I will be putting this in, you know, onto here, somewhere in there. I'm gonna flip through that and show it to you because it's a, Jacqueline did a great job. So, um, and this is a calendar that she provides. And then every day, somebody is going to be creating. Today, Meg is gonna, I think she already has post a video of today's prompt. And then each day she has somebody else. And these are very, very talented people. So if you're not subscribed to their channels, I would encourage you to do that because they're they're wonderful creators. And everybody's, diff, you know, um, ideas are gonna be different. So I'll post probably about every three days and show what I've done for each day. So anyway, I'm really, really excited about this. And then towards the back, she's got some like journaling cards and they're beautiful. Just for you to use or you don't have to use them, you know, whatever you wanna do. And then this is just for notes. And um, I love it. She says, enjoy the process. So I think it's gonna be really, really fun. And I'm gonna link her channel below in the video um, that she's done. And like I said, I think she's done one for today as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that one as well. Uh, so I wanted to flip through this because I'm really, really, really excited about it. Uh, this is literally big. It's huge. It's uh, about a nine by about 12 and, and a quarter. So it's big and I love that. And so she's put a little label here for me and then you open it up and she's used some uh, brown craft paper and she's put a couple of papers in here, you know, to journal on. And this is one of her coffee dyed papers. She does the most beautiful dyeing of papers just in all sorts. And then of course there's an envelope here and um, then she made me a little something and stuck it in the pocket. <clears throat> and then, of course, this is the next page. It's got a little label on it. And I'm just going to kind of flip through here and let y'all see. I love the way that she did that edge. Look at that beautiful, beautiful paper that she coffee dyed. I mean, it is crunchy. I love it. I mean, just the sound of it, the looks of it, it's great. And I love how eclectic this is. And some pages may be covered up and some, you know, I might just put various things on the pages. But I love the maps. I, I just love, love, love the maps. And then some more for coffee dyed papers. Um, and then this is just a, a fold out. And this is paper bag, which I love that. I can stick all kind of little ephemera in that. And this paper is done with some type of yellow dye and it is just absolutely beautiful. I don't know if y'all can really see that in the video. Um, but it's beautiful. So, and then again, just some papers that she stuck in. Here's the envelope with a few little things stuck in the pocket, which I love. And, uh -oh. and then some more of her dyed papers, which are absolutely gorgeous. 
And now she does sell her um, her dyed papers. And I'll link her channel below as well as her website below. And the, this is a part of that yellow paper. And then the other part of the bag. And she's cut that open so that I can use both ends of the bag. Another fold over page. And then some more of these luscious papers. And another maps. The, I'm sure that was, you know, where it was folded into. More like scientific kind of papers. I have no, oh, spectro, spectrometry. Okay, I have no idea what that means. But look at this, isn't that luscious? I just love that, that's not sound. And then another pocket. I love the way she did these with the brown craft paper stick the envelopes that go with that actually that match it actually and then a couple more pages that she's put in here for me and so I just appreciate that she did that for me um, I mean I just love it and so we're excited to be doing it together and I, I hope that y'all will join us in that adventure because you know Meg um, is awesome and so, and all the creators she picked are great. So while I'm showing you this that came from her, um, I wanted to show you some of her other dyed things. This is a piece of her eco dyed. It's like cardstock that's been embossed around the edges and it's gorgeous on either side. And this is another one. And she sells her eco dyed papers as well. So y'all definitely need to check her out. And then this one, don't you love, love, love that? I just think that's awesome. So I'm probably gonna hoard that because I I really love it. So anyway, um, now to show you something really, really, really beautiful that I was just so taken by. This is um, some fabric. It seems like it has a tighter weave than cheesecloth. I'm not sure what kind of fabric this is, but look at the colors in that. Is that awesome? I mean, I was just dumbfounded when I saw this. And then I'm gonna show you another one. Look at that. Is that scrumptious? My goodness, I love it. Now these are rust dyed. And I've never seen any rust dyed papers or lace. Um, this is actually like a doily material, crocheted material. But I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen rust dyed anything in, in person and I encourage y'all to go check out her shop because I mean her her dyeing is just absolutely gorgeous and then um, I want to show you she has done the most awesome colors in paper I'm just beautiful and I'm just kind of not doing every page I'm just kind of flipping through and she has so many different colors available. Look here in the green. And um, look at that, isn't that pretty? And I've used several of these already in, in projects, which I'm gonna end up showing you the projects because they're gorgeous. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? So, you know, I can't do dyeing anymore, you know, like I used to, unfortunately. But, um, and her, I think her things are very reasonably priced. And so, uh, it, it's a big help to me. Isn't that green gorgeous? Uh, it's a big help to me to be able to order from her and, and receive the papers. They're absolutely stunning. So, that is that. And then, um, as a gift, she sent me this gorgeous, gorgeous journal, which I promptly spilled my coffee on, so I haven't gotten that all the way off yet. And so I'm a veteran and she knows that and she kind of want to honor that, but I've never, ever, ever had a naked journal before. And I wanted one because I'm, I want to use it for a specific purpose. And I've had this about two months and I have not written in it because I was waiting to show y'all how awesome this is. But I open it up and she's got like some beautiful washi tape here. Um, I have no idea what that's made out of, some kind of fabric washi tape, but it is gorgeous. Oh, and let me see. Yep, 
All right, so this is the first signature. And then her coffee dyed papers, which are just absolutely gorgeous in the signature. I think there's about 10 in each signature, which would make what, 40 pages? Maybe there's only five, I don't know. I didn't count them, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that would be what, 20 pages in each signature. And then another freedom paper, which everybody who knows me knows that I love my country and I'm very dedicated to my country. So, um, postage stamps, love that, love, love, love. And of course that has the naked papers in it as well. And then the stars and stripes, and I just love it. And so she did that specifically for me as a gift, and I can't tell you how much I absolutely love it. And now today I've shown it to you, and so as of tonight, I will start writing in my journal. So, um, gonna try to show you a journal that I made recently, and this one is for my daughter, Dixie. And this one, um, I've just used like a piece of sari silk as a ribbon and tied it around it. And this is like a dragon charm. I got, I ordered some and I didn't realize I was gonna be getting a hundred of them. I don't know who needs a hundred, uh, but anyway, I'm using some of them in here. So this is um, faux leather, you know, I made that. Got a piece of cardboard, some burlap. This was like a little, you know, came in a package. I got a little um, cheesecloth there and, you know, labeled and, and just little stuff from the, the kit that I used. And then we get to the first page and I have a pocket here and a couple of journaling, journaling cards stuck in. I tried to make sure there was plenty of journaling space in here. Um, and this is just a page, you know, that beautiful. And then here is another dragon charm. And then here's just a little file folder, which I love. And I used a couple little brads on that. And then I just paper clip that in. And here's a, uh, a side tuck pocket. And I, you know, put something from the kit on there and I, I'm sorry I don't recall whose kit it was, and it's been a while since I downloaded it or printed it, so I'm not real sure. But a couple more little journaling cards stuck in here. Uh, and some of these papers are from Victoria's Designs, but I'm not sure if all of them are. I, I just cannot remember, I'm sorry. I have long COVID, so my memory's kind of shot right now, but hopefully that'll pass. But absolutely gorgeous uh, papers. I'm not sure how I feel about the whole dragon thing. I'm not a mystical person, and so I'm just not sure. But um, anyway, a little pocket with a couple of little journaling cards in it. And I guess you'll notice all the pages are done up. Each one was hand torn. Uh, I didn't have my tear ruler, and so I tore each one by hand. And then I have a little a corner tuck and with a couple little tags and stuff in there. And then another uh, dragon charm. And then this is just some stuff that actually came off of, you know, those little tiles that you can get. Like, I don't know. I think they're about half inch by half inch. I don't really know. But anyway, this was what they are put on. And that's the backing to it. And then this was something out of the kit. Sorry if you see the cat jumping up here. And then here's another journal charm. I mean, dragon charm. Excuse my cat. Not even my cat. Sorry about that. And then um, another corner tuck with a couple more journaling cards in there. And then this is an envelope. And I do have some tickets in there. So, uh, you know, I, I think with the tickets and small things like that, you know, you come up with a word that's inspiring for the day, you know, maybe joyful or happy or um, inspire or beauty, you know, something that would inspire you. And I think putting them on there it would be such a great idea. And that would be for, you know, how you feel that day. Cause you don't always feel like writing every single day, but you, you know, can come up with whatever your word is for the day. And then I made a pocket here and this was just some, um, it, I don't know what that's called, but it's what burlap is made out of. 
um, and I made a little pocket. I mean, this was at, from, you know from the kit, and I just made a little pocket there, and a couple of tags I actually joined them together, so that'd be kind of cool, just a little different, something different. Um, and then I did another corner tuck with a couple more journaling cards in here. Of course, you know, more more journaling pages and interesting pages. I love that page. It's actually part of the kit. I didn't stagger that, but it looks like I did. And I just put a little um, border on here and then just put a couple of little numbers. This is a pocket and I put a postcard and then just journaling paper on there. So I love that. I think I just love the looks of that. So that's that page. And then I have another corner tuck and I put a couple of journaling cards in there. And then, um, you know, more beautiful pages. And then a bigger file folder where I used the brads on that. And then I just stuck in a couple of journal uh, journaling places, um, journal cards is what I'm trying to say. And then another corner tuck, and I put a couple of journaling cards in there. Another dragon. And I tell you, these dragon charms were actually very bright silver. I don't have any right in front of me, or I'd show you. But they're very bright silver. And I knew that if I painted them, that it would kind of rub off because of the texture on them. And so I literally heat embossed black embossing powder on those to get them to look like that. And I did the fronts and the backs and it doesn't cover it fully. And that was kind of my intention um, in doing that because while this was still wet, I turned it over and then turned it back over and it took just little bitty pieces of that out. And so I really, really love the effect of that. And some more pages, another little pocket with some journaling cards. And then here is a, another envelope with some journaling cards in it. And I just kind of decorated the front. That's back here is more of that stuff that came off the back of those little tiles. I don't even know what those little tiles are used for. Maybe somebody can tell me. And here's another pocket with a couple of journaling cards in here as well. more pages and then oh in the middle of each signature there's two signatures I uh, put um, more of the dragon charms so I guess I didn't see it in the other one but it's there and so that's something and she actually wants me to put more charms on the side she says she wants it to be really tacky another pocket with a couple of journaling cards in it and with a hundred charms there's no reason why I can't put more on there um, and then here is another like file folder isn't that cool and I just put a couple of little tiny journaling cards in there and then this this pocket with a couple of journaling cards in there I love the way that it turned out like I said, I'm not sure how I feel about the whole dragon thing. I think it's kind of mystical, and if it is, I really don't do mystical, but um, I, I'm just not sure, so I agree to do it. As a matter of fact, I have two more dragon journals to do, and so this is a pocket, and I just put a journaling page, page in there, pages you can journal, just some private thoughts, and that kind of wraps that up. And so I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Um, she's really pleased with how it turned out and is very excited. So I just kind of wanted to share that as well. So that's going to do it for me for today. Um, I missed y'all like crazy. I really, really did. And I'm so glad to be back. I don't know how often I'll be posting a video. Like I said, I can't sit for very long. Um, and so I'm working on things that I can do in, you know, kind of a shorter amount of time. 
anyway, I love y'all. I've missed you like crazy. I'm going to leave those links to uh, Lovely's Crafting Lodge and Meg's Journals in the description. Please go check everybody out. Um, and uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Bye.